So, um, what does this do? I, I, I genuinely, I genuinely can't remember what this actually does. So, um, I think, let's fire it up. It fires up, I'm sure. Let's fire it up and ideally let's see if it'll select gear and ride, really. Um, I should check the tire pressures and all. So... Fuel on, that will help. Fuel on. Stab choking for me. Bit. Once it's on, it's on, it doesn't go off, but I don't like that. Um, that is a smooth, smooth bike, and that's with a cock that's not new or clean. Huh? This is ready to go then. No, it needs uh, MOT, but that will pass all day long. I don't like the brake cleaver, it's so high, but that is there's no adjustment, that is the way it is. So when you're riding this, you actually do have to lift your leg. You know how fussy I am with brakes. I like them to be like a traditional bike. But it is very common. You, on this one, you are you are working it. You're lifting your leg. Um, if it had adjustment, I'd be lowering it because I like to ride with my foot covering the rear. But that's it's actually quite rare. Normally, or even on a sports bike, you'd have your leg out and then you'd come back to it when you needed it. So that's just me being fussy, really. Uh, the tires are flat. Let me throw some air in the tires because they felt weird there. And uh, other than that, it's great. I do need to get into that ignition switch though, so it's gonna be a bit of work there actually. Ravjo's been wanting to do a spark plug for a while, and uh, we did attempt his a while back, but um, it was a right pain. Now I've done mine, there's the potential that we can do his, although I have a feeling it's different. His tank, for example, can't lift because there's no bolts there. Hello? Yeah. Thanks, Lucy, anyway. I'm going to see if I can muscle it in underneath without moving the tank. So Rabjab being Rabjab ordered from KTM 
they sent him the wrong spark plug. Technically, they sent him the right spark plug, but they sent him the one that was capless, and his coil lead is a capped one. So, uh, yeah, he, sh uh, he should have used the code that I gave him and ordered anywhere else. How, how mad that KTM, you can put your number plate in, do this, do that, and they still send you the wrong item. I'm sure it's his trailer. That's the life. That's the life, mate. Right, I need to get into this ignition now. Um, I, th I think I've got to pop the tank. I think there's no choice. Yeah, my, mine probably are as well. This was 350, 250, 350. I went on uh, YouTube, on Facebook, for a Chinese bag, bib, scratch bib, it's got 1200 pounds. Exactly, it's nuts. Ah, it's too much. I'm gonna sell this for 1250. It's done, MOT'd, No MOT, service. nothing, Charlie. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. I know, but if I, if I fall into that game, I don't really know, I can't. And you lose that money for that buy that bag. I can't. So the red goes into the red and the black goes into the black. Who would have ever guessed that? I really want to try and fix this one though. It might just be that the contacts, if I can get into the bottom without breaking it, I might be able to fix the contacts. Sometimes you can unclip. Look. There's no bike on that one, huh? Yeah, or, or, or a looker. Shape, that's nice well. Lovely. You don't drive it? Not much, not enough to justify 800 pound tax a year. I want to clean the contacts on here, but I don't want to break it. In two years, you're gonna get rid of road time. I'm gonna charge you for a mile. You watch. Yeah, that's not even in two years. It might even come out this year. I uh, hope not. I'm gonna sell the bike. Man. I don't think it will affect bikes. I have a feeling it's cars. I have a feeling they won't do bikes. I think that's sorted. So I had it like this. It's probably gonna blow up. Sorry, you, you electrician. Not a good one. Oh, it's working. No, we've got no power at all. We don't. Huh? This needs to come on. If 
fail. There you go. That was a rotation, and it all clicked in. This would be wicked if it was a fix. Yep. Relax. Yes. Yes. Wow. Sound like mouth bite. No, no issues at all. Do you know what? It shows you. Sometimes you go out there, you spend a lot of money on parts. And then for what? For no reason? Exactly. That's not the reason for that guy watching the program. At some point it was it was coming. Yeah. It, it really is just a part of going up. You don't want to risk getting poisoned your life source or Exactly, all of that. Right, let's throw this tank back on and then this bike's good to go. I am going to get gaiters for it though, just to stop any more. At the moment, no pitting is in the travel area, so it wouldn't ever fail at all and it wouldn't break the seals, but I want to protect it for the future. So I might even, someone said in the comments, coat grease at the top under the rubbers just to keep them. I think that's a great idea. So this is done really. I'm going to give it its last clean bit of wax and it'll be ready to go the Porsche just went oh look at this big space oh it's a shame it's a shame but life changes um for anyone who doesn't know the members I talk to the members more but um if you're not a member guys 199 is the cheapest honestly it's probably not worth it but if you have a spare 199 and you want just a tiny bit more detail then the members tend to get a bit more uh yeah I moved into a flat I've been living with my parents since covid and I moved into a flat recently and I realized I now have to start paying bills and money is tight. So I uh, sold the Porsche, which is gutting. So I had it, what, f six months? Only really drove it three months. And let's be honest, I drove it twice a month, so it wasn't worth the outlay. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, Rabjab just drove this. He agreed the steering is so slightly off. He said, let me just clamp it with my legs. Remember what he said? He said it needs to come around this way. Now, anyone who knows Rab Jab or, know, or knows of him on the channel, that guy, his attunement to bikes is unbelievable. Um, and I think mine is good. And he's jumped on bikes before and he's gone, Charlie, this, that, that. Um, his attunement to bikes is, is um, he's like a superhero. Um, so, yeah, very slightly. Uh, you really would hardly feel it. I've ridden this bike a few times today and I, I'd hardly feel it. It is such a slight amount that way. So I'm just gonna loosen up the tops and make that adjustment because I, more for me than anyone else, because it would annoy me. I've really enjoyed this, working on bikes again. It's been dry for a little while. Really enjoyed this last two days. I kind of went off it, didn't I? I was dating, there was no bikes out there, reasonably priced, you know, there was big issues. Um, I think back on track, people said the summer it gets nuts and they were right, it gets nuts in the summer. Uh, maybe winter we can do some bikes. Yeah, 